Are you tired of your friends not supporting your small business? Nah. Are you a small business owner? Are you tired of your friends complaining about your prices? Did you just start a business and you had no idea how expensive things will be and your friends don't understand that? Are your friends bitching about your prices? This is the video for you. Hola mis coconetes, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be an educational video finally because, you know, the people I was working with let me down. So, I don't want to talk about it. I backed in the business, so cracked in the living room. It's that rocky. Yeah, baby, like, share, subscribe, you know the vibe. I know you want to do it, just do it. Alright, so first off, before we go into the prices, let's just give everybody the whole world a whole spiel. Okay, so we have LLCs, Limited Liability Company, and then we got a sole proprietorship. Sole proprietorship. So the difference between the two is for like LLCs, if you want some hot water, somebody got a lawsuit against you, whatever, they going to take the money you have in the LLC's bank. But for a sole proprietorship, you want a lawsuit, you fuck, baby. They're taking your car, your house, all your personal assets if you don't pay back what you owe them. So to file for a sole proprietorship is $100 in New York City, a.k.a. five boroughs. The rest of New York is $25. To apply for an LLC is $200 in New York City. And for some businesses, they got to pay annual fees from $25 to $4,500. If you have employees, you pay employer taxes. And if you sell goods, you gotta pay sales tax. All right, let's start getting into the cost and the breakdowns. Why is everything so expensive? First, let's go for the common cost. These are like the staples, like the I must. You got the materials, whatever the fuck it is that you're buying, whatever the fuck you're making. You gotta buy materials to make stuff. The websites. A graphic designer should you need one. You could pay a graphic designer to make certain logos for you, build your website, etc. Pay for advertising on Instagram, Facebook. Labor if you want to pay yourself for the work or the hours you're putting in or if you have employees. Like you gotta pay your best friend for working with you or working for you. And shipping. Good old shipping. Cause I mean you could drive and do meetups for like five dollars worth of gas to go meet up with someone and drop something off. Look at it however you want to. It's a broad spectrum, baby. I'm going to start with the cost of shirts. Because I see a lot of people are making clothes. I went on a few websites and I picked the one that had like the in-between price. So, on this website. Fruit of the Loom. 100% cotton shirt. A white is $189 per shirt. And black is $287. So, you get... 30 smalls, 30 mediums, 30 larges, 30 extra larges, right? That's 120 shirts. That comes out to 226.80. For 120 black shirts, is 337.51. Right. I was just curious, so I looked up a hoodie from Hanes. $9.94 each. So if you was to buy 90 sweaters, small, medium, large, 30 each, that's $894.60. Also, if you're going to print, so a heat press to print your designs, that's $129.99 on Amazon that I found. If you do not want to do the screen printing yourself, you don't want to buy the machine, it is... Well, I have two websites that I found this information from. I'm not giving you the website info, by the way, because I spent a lot of time looking this shit up. So, $2.05 a piece if it's 72 to 144 shirts. Another website said $5.70 if it's 100 to 199 shirts. Then you also have to take account shipping. So with the USPS envelope flat rate priority mail, this is the same packaging that Fashion Nova uses. The base price is $7.55. And I did a little price demo with two zip codes from the Bronx to Manhattan. And it came out to $8.40. If you were to do custom shipping bags, you don't want to do USPS. 100 black bags for $38. $20 for 200 shipping labels. If you don't have a graphic designer and you want to hire someone to make your logo, it could be from $20 to the hundreds, honestly. It depends on what type of design you want, how many, if that person wants to contract with you because they're making a piece of artwork and if you're going to be using it to make money off of them and their art, they might have a contract with you to get a percentage of 
every item you sell with their artwork. Let's say you spend $20 on an ad for Instagram or Facebook for a few days. Get you some customers. If you have people working with you, you won't have to pay them a little bit. I'm not sure if you're going to pay them minimum wage or not. If you need to build a website and you don't have a template or you want to purchase a template, that could range from $300 to $1,000. Obviously, some people could do it for cheaper depending on like who you know. For some websites, I think they have like plans and you could just do it for cheaper. Uh, when I was making websites, we used Shopify and that shit was fun. Shopify and Wix. I think it was like $40 a month. Whatever. Uh, GoDaddy has specials. They have a uh, dollar to twenty-five dollars for the website plans. Let's say you don't want a website. You just want to, you know, just take it easy, whatever. I'm not doing all this extra shit. You want to sell on Etsy and eBay. eBay will take one point five to fourteen percent of your sale, and Etsy will take five percent of your sale. Math time. This is like a bootleg return of investment. So return of investment is basically you're calculating how much you've made after investing X amount of money. So the typical formula for that is your net profit, total investment divided times 100. For my example, I'm only going to do one month. So you could do this calculation. You'll still get the same answer if you net profit subtract how much you spent. You would do this to get a percentage or a ratio. Um, it depends on your business, what the ideal ratio or percentage is. So I'm just going to keep it very simple. But just keep this in mind. It's something to look into if you would like to progress your business. It's also good for stocks. So, how do we make this profit? So first off, we're going to do some little math calculations before we add it all together. Okay, so if you remember from a few, I don't know how many minutes ago, 120 white shirts was 226.80. To print, I'm gonna go with the low price, two dollars and five cents times one twenty, two hundred forty-six dollars for shipping. I'm gonna go in this case with the zip code from Bronx to Manhattan, the eight forty times one twenty. In case you know, one hundred twenty people buy one shirt, that's a thousand and eight dollars, right? Let's add it all together. We got the thousand and eight, two forty-six. 226.80. Add it all together. That's $1,480.80. So this rack and change is what you invested on 120 shirts. Now if you divide this big ass number by 120, the cost per shirt is $12.34. And you want to bitch about a $15 shirt when it costs $12.34 to make. Okay. With this $15 you charge in the per shirt, that's $2.66 profit. Do you think that is enough to keep that business running? Now let's take this $1,480.80 and just call this the shirt price, right? For like everything you did to make the shirt what it is. Now add on $30 for the graphic design, $30 for the website, $30 for advertising. That's $1,570.80. So that's your investment for that month, right? Now, obviously, you could knock off the $30 for the graphic designer. I'm not sure if you would like to do different designs every month or so, but, you know, just we're playing it safe here, right? So if you sold 120 shirts at $15 a piece, that's $1,800. $1,800 is your profit. But is it really a profit? If you subtract the investment of that month, the $1,500, from what you made, you're only gaining $229.20 that month. Is that really a gain if you've paid $1,500? The return on investment for this is 14.59%. I think this is bullshit. You cannot do nothing with $229.20. How long would it take you to... You need to buy more shirts. Like You need to pass your investment. And to me, that's what's successful. If you were to sell it at $25 a piece, you make $3,000. Subtract the initial investment from the $3,000, you get $1,429.20. But that's still less than the $1,500. If you were to sell these shirts, just $5 more, $30 a pop, you're making $3,600. Now subtract the initial investment, you gain $2,029.20. So you will have the 1570 and 80 cents 
and you will also have four hundred fifty eight dollars and forty cents to keep for yourself or you can invest that back into the business to get more shirts um, i hope this makes sense i have one more example let's go into sole proprietorship type of people these are the people who fix like laptops tvs radios phones on average it's 150 to 200 dollars to fix a phone this could be anything from the camera the microphone the screen now you have the cheap phone screen and lcds that are like 14 15 dollars 30 dollars but a higher quality one starts at like 40 dollars this could be from the iphone 5 series up to the 7 40 dollars ish the highest one so far for a high quality screen 250 for a aftermarket pro max screen 150 for an xs max screen see how much apple charges let me look it up right now a screen repair will set you back $329. Any other damage will cost $599. Holy shit. A $150 for an XS Max screen, right? Aftermarket. One of the highest quality screens. Your phone's fucked up. I'm coming. Let's say $20 to get over there. You know, gas and the time. Low balling. So that's $170 so far, right? But the screen was $150 that's still no profit that twenty dollars don't mean shit that's gas money right there that's not for you that's not for your personal use that's not lunch money if labor is 130 the 130 plus the 20 transportation fee is 150 so you void out the cost of the screen you ain't making any money zero profit trash no discount for you bitch the transportation and labor costs have to be over 150 for the person who's fixing the phone to get a profit besides the 20 and the 150 is that person fixing your phone gonna pocket ten dollars, twenty dollars, thirty dollars? Think about it. How much are you willing to pay to help that technician out? Because if it's one fifty to two hundred average, average cost, just for like your regular everyday phones. This includes Samsungs and other type of phones. This isn't the average for just Apple. And I think majority of iPhone users watch my videos. All right, so three twenty nine for screen repair according to Apple minus one fifty for the screen. That's one seventy nine minus twenty dollars. If this person was to charge you the same price as Apple, which I wouldn't recommend because it's an aftermarket screen, they would pocket one fifty nine dollars. Damn! Imagine how much Apple is pocketing. Let's say you pocket fifty dollars. That sounds cute. You know, $50 a person, plus 20 for gas and whatever the fuck, transportation, plus 150 for the phone screen, that's 220 So you would initially charge your customer 220 to fix their phone screen for XS Max instead of the 329 that Apple's going to charge you. So your customer saves $109. These newer phones, you know, the whole water resistant thing, it's going to cost more and Apple keeps improving their glass every year as they claim which I kind of believe because I've thrown this phone this is 11 I've thrown this phone at the fucking wall on the floor screen ain't cracked so best believe these screens are gonna cost a little more than what you expect and also you know if you're gonna bitch about prices invest in a phone case I ain't trying to be no Mother Mary type shit, but like it really bothers me to see how people are trying to make money helping people and doing what they love and enjoy. And they're not getting that acknowledgement because people are saying it costs too much. Hopefully this video will help you understand what goes behind all these details. And I'm not trying to like attack people and make people feel bad because this is just how I talk. You know, I'm very like... Well, that's it for now, babies. One thing also like... I picked 120 because sometimes people don't know what number to start off with, how many shirts or how many items to make. Some people start with 50, 60, 100, 120, 200. It's like you don't know how much you're going to be selling a month until you like pick a number. So that's why I picked 120. I felt like that was like in the middle. Like it's not too much, it's not too little. And the prices I picked were more towards the low side, but... I'm not saying this is going to be the price for everybody who wants to do a shirt company, but for the most part, this is like a good ballpark price. I think I said it right. But yeah, if you made it this far, I don't know why you haven't subscribed yet. 
see you next Tuesday.